Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. So soon I'm sharing another after party clean with me. This was after my mom's 65th birthday. We had about 30 guests so it was a much bigger party and we did party really hard as you can see. We really let loose and had a great time. Of course we had to do the confetti cannons last time we did six this time we did 12 so i have a much bigger mess to clean up this time and i'm not gonna lie this was the hardest cleaning video i've ever done and i've done a lot of hard cleaning videos but this one you'll see what i mean and like I mentioned on my Instagram stories, this is part one of the cleaning. I did have a few family members stay after, so I have to deep clean the bedrooms, wash all the linens, couch covers, uh, area rugs, all that. So stay tuned for that video. I'm starting with taking down the tinsel curtain. It actually made it this time. Usually the kids rip this down well before the party is over, but I wanted to let some light in because my Instagram story was coming out a little dark, but I'm gonna head over to the kitchen after this and tackle that mess first. I just feel like the kitchen is the heart of the home and probably the hardest to clean, so I like to start with that. One bag for trash, one bag for recycling. I didn't get around to filming a clean and decorate with me for YouTube. I did an Instagram reel that's up over there because I just had to get all the rooms ready. I was also having guests like I mentioned, so I had to prepare the rooms and bathrooms. But if you guys want to see it, it's on my Instagram. So doing the confetti over the island was such a bad idea. If I could go back, I would have went to the other side where we usually do it in that little um, dining table nook. It was sticky because we had Ruby's dad here bartending and making drinks to the right so everything was just sticking. Uh, the floor, there was spills and this is the smooth shiny confetti, not the paper one from last time and I knew better. I'm just frustrated here because I cannot get it off. I tried spraying it thinking it would help loosen it up and that didn't work. I also tried my squeegee from my shower and after all I just gave up and just picked it all off with my hands. I was beyond frustrated, just a series of bad ideas, but no worries, in the end, I got it all off and clean.
now to this side of the countertop where things are much easier. I'm putting away um, plates and cups and forks, whatever we didn't use. I'm putting it in my pantry and whatever snacks I'll put away too. Also the pans that warm food, the ones I don't have stuck on food, I always save in my pantry also. Now I'm feeling like I'm getting somewhere. I'm going to um, offload the dishwasher and then load it back up and wash the putters that can't go into the dishwasher. The garbage disposal is full of confetti. You'll see that in a minute. I knew there would be some in there, but when I stuck my hands in, I was like, whoa, but no worries, the garbage disposal is fine. I did get it all out. As I knocked over this platter, I was looking back at it and poured water all over the floor and myself. It was just one thing after the other. <laughs>
Okay, I got that all washed up. Now I'm going to bleach the sink and then pick up any trash that's left over in the kitchen. I saw some cups and just like random trash. Throw that away because I just want it to be confetti when I come back in to sweep it all up. But before that, I'm going over to the dining nook to clean up the trash there, pick up anything from the floor that's not confetti, get all the chairs up so I can start sweeping it all. just quickly showing you guys the progress i think at this point i had about five six bags of trash plus recycling and we still had all this confetti and more trash to pick up on this side but i wanted to start taking some of these bags out Now I'm starting to clear off the entertainment center. Like I said, it was a bigger party, so the party kind of stretched out. Oh, there's Emir grabbing some glow sticks and going back to his room. We also did use the back patio, but not too many people went out there. I saw like a few cups and confetti. I did set the um, bar cart out there. I just set it up with some waters and coasters. I put an extra end table out there, but it was too hot to go out there right now, so I'll do that another day. Also, I don't know whose idea it was to bring these baskets from the garage to try and set up the phone to take a picture, like group picture of all of us. I'm like, y'all, I have tripods everywhere. But yeah, the garage, girl, that is a different story. The kids went wild in there. Now I'm just putting the bar stools up. I'm gonna get the rest of that tinsel curtain, some more trash on the floor, then make my way into the living room, pick up some stuff from the floor there too. In the entryway, I'm going to take down those decorations. I'm trying to hurry here because I see the rain clouds and y'all know how Florida is. Once it starts to set up like it's going to rain, you got to move quick. I didn't want to get caught in the rain putting the um, trash bags out. This was the first time that I moved my couch and area rug for a party. I also pushed back the dining table just to open up more space. I don't know if I should leave it like this. Sultan said she loves it. It makes it feel bigger. 
Ruby said she didn't like it to put it back, but that's a lot of work and they can barely help. <laughs> but um, I feel like the chandelier is going to be off now because everything was symmetrical, I feel like. It's still lined up with the entertainment center, but now the chandelier hangs over the left side of the couch. I'm not sure if I should keep it this way or put it back to the way it was before. Either way, I'm going to be moving it again, lifting up the rug and taking off all the um, couch cushions and washing everything. But you guys let me know what you think. I did get majority of the trash and recycling put out before it started raining but it was so dark so I decided to take a break. I don't want the clips to be dark of me sweeping up the confetti because I know that's you guys favorite part. I'm just making something for the kids to eat really quick and then I'll come back later when it gets sunny because Florida does that. Even though it rains it will get sunny again especially during summer so I'll come back when it lightens up to sweep all the confetti. It ended up storming really bad and the power got knocked out for a little bit, but thankfully it came back on. It's sunny so you guys can see what I'm doing. Like I mentioned earlier, some of the um, spills on the floor made the confetti sick. So I had a pretty hard time getting this up, I'm not going to lie, in certain areas. And I am working with a raggedy broom. I have to get a better broom.
sleep deprived Now I'm going to bag this confetti up and I decided to bring out my shark. The confetti spread a lot but it's a lot more sparse in this area so I felt like my shark could do it. Plus like I've mentioned it's so hard to sweep off of um, carpet. Off camera, I did quickly vacuum the kids' room and my office, Ruby's room, and my room. Somehow, confetti ended up in my shower and in my car, but I don't remember driving that night. Um, there was a little bit of confetti in the bathroom, and yeah, I need a deep clean in here. But like I said, I'll do that in the next video.
that was the last of the decorations that I needed to take down. Going up and down that ladder is definitely a workout. Now I'm going to vacuum all of the floors again. I just feel like I didn't get it all up with just the broom and I was only really paying attention to like gathering up the confetti so I'm vacuuming all the floors again in this area but like you guys saw I already did the other side. Right after this I'm going to grab my OC drum mop and start mopping. I forgot I stopped and vacuumed the couch a little bit and set it back up. I wasn't going to do this, but then I thought it would be so unsatisfying to do an end shot with the couch looking like this. So I just went ahead and vacuumed whatever confetti I could see. won't see the coffee table or the end table at the end. The coffee table was in my room and the end table is on the back patio. Um, after I get done mopping, I mopped twice. I mopped with the Yosider mop and then I went ahead and did the steam mop just because people were wearing their shoes in the house. and. I don't take cleaning my floors lightly. I they have to be super clean. I'm mopping with hot water and vinegar and I also treated myself to another shot. The first one is on my Instagram reel. I needed something for all this hard work. I'm adding in some more hot water because I didn't add enough the first time and I'm also putting on my mop slippers because I was sure I was going to walk over the floors again.
I'm putting on a clean mop head and I didn't forget about the bar stools and the dining chairs or that table. Once I'm done mopping, I'll take those down and wipe off the bar stools, wipe down the countertops again because I stepped on them and also bleach the sink one more time because that's where I am dumping my mop water. Now I'm going to sanitize the floors with my shark steam mop. I have two mop heads that I use typically when I um, steam mop the floors and I also flip it to the other side so technically I'm using four. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better.
I am saying bye to my Instagram reel and I'm listening to rock and roll. I'm in the kitchen taking down the bar stools that I said I was gonna wipe down, the counters, the dining table. You can see it's like dirty there on the edge. Some of the chairs were dirty too. And then bleach the sink and that'll be it for this video. I dropped one of my cleaning cloths and normally I would get a clean one but I'm like y'all know this floor is clean. <laughs> I'm finally starting the dishwasher now that it's full and I'm barefoot. That's the only way I can tell if my floors are clean or not. Gotta take off my slippers and my socks and feel for myself.
streets all along And all you can see Thinking about what your life came to be You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video.